hey you guys good morning welcome back to my channel it is january the 2nd and today we're gonna do like a slight get ready with me get cute because like i said in my last vlog i basically had um dinner plans today with me and my friends so we're gonna get all dolled up i have a wig i showed you guys the wig that i bleached yesterday well the knots i should say um i'm not going to be gluing this wig down i'm just going to be putting like you know some of the gel hairspray mousse whatever the case may be so let me show you the wig super cute absolutely love this wig like <sighs> amazing it's just really cute um i did bleach the knots on this wig and then i deep conditioned it yesterday for about like five to six hours and then I rinse it out and let it over, like you know air dry overnight this wig is a natural middle part so it already comes parted for you it's not like a free part so it is a frontal and this is what sis is looking like but what I am gonna do I'm going to sew an elastic band in the back of it like I did with this wig it I just tried it for the first time and it's so easy like I don't know why I was scared like maybe the lace would rip on the wigs and stuff like that so I was always hesitant to try it but um I need to go to the gym today I need to nair my mustache and I also need to make a smoothie before I go to the gym it's really hot so if I look sweaty it's a mixture of sweat and um a hydration spray that I put on so yeah this wig i will put all the specs at the bottom in the description for you be on the lookout for that i think this wig is honestly already pre-plugged there is some baby hairs on it i just absolutely love the color of this wig it's so cute super cute and what i noticed when i did rinse the wig out it did give it like a natural like wave to the hair so i'm starting to think maybe like a loose wave or so but yeah i'm gonna nair my mustache so you can come with me to do that and yeah you can beat me in the bathroom all right you guys so i'm back let's get to it the reason why i look like with kelly right now is basically because you're just going to be focusing on my upper lip area i am going to be using the nair hair remover this is the face cream one So this one is specifically for your face. You could also use it for your brows, upper lip, chin, like I said, all over the face. Um, and this one has almond oil in there. It's really easy. I just kind of dab some on my lip area. I made sure that my top lip area was clean. Um, I washed my face and I also wiped it down with alcohol just so, I don't know, so you don't get like, I guess, bacteria on your skin and stuff like that. You just want it to be um clean <clears throat> all right so it definitely says you can put this on your cheek chin face upper lip um obviously they tell you to remove all your makeup you can apply it on to your fingertips and leave the cream on for five minutes sometimes i leave it on just a little bit longer because i feel like mustache hair sometimes they're a little bit thick depending um you know the texture of your hair so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna Go ahead and apply this to my lip area. And as you see, I'm not like rubbing it. I'm just kind of like dabbing it on there, like so. Don't do this anywhere else, guys. Especially not in your nose. Um, you want it to have a really nice layer to it. So that's why I'm dabbing on it. I feel like when you wipe it, it kind of thins it out, but if you dab it, it kind of just layers it for you. I like to put a little bit underneath this area, my, you know, under lip area, my lower lip. Because I feel like we'd be getting some, like, little peach fuzz there. Well, at least I do. When I want to dab that and then what I like to do I like to put a little bit in the middle of my eyebrows because I do um have a unibrow naturally so if I don't groom my brows pluck them all the time they're just going to be there and I also have like a little shadow from plucking there so much um so yeah so it, it's not actually hair there it's just like a little 
basically hyperpigmentation and I just dab that in the middle of my brows I don't really get it on the hairs on the on the sides here I just put it directly down the middle all right now we wait and we just let that sit for about like five or seven minutes I don't like to leave it on longer than that because um, although it is safe for your face, it's still like a chemical and if you leave it on too long, it could potentially burn your face or leave a scar or just really irritate it. And you don't want to do that, especially if you're going to be putting on makeup. Like, I know sometimes when I shave my face or I nail my face and then I put on makeup that exact same day, um, the foundation or the setting spray kind of irritates my face. It stings a little bit and I know it's not like allergic reaction, it's just... Uh, my skin is sensitive at the moment, so yes. We're gonna let this nair sit for a little bit. It looks so crazy. I look like I've been drinking like hot chocolate or something like that. <laughs> it literally looks like Santa. But um, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'll be right back. In the meantime, I'm gonna make a smoothie because I would like to go to the gym after this come back i want my mom to braid my hair down for me if she can if she has time because i want my wig to lay really flat um as you guys know like i am well i don't know if you guys know this but i am all natural underneath this wig here so i do not put any like heat to my hair i do not put any chemicals in my hair other than shampoo conditioner and obviously moisturizer but any like heat i do not put to my hair so yeah we're just gonna make a smoothie real quick and then wait and see if she doesn't get to braid my hair it's fine like it's not a big deal i just put a stocking cap over it and it lay pretty flat but i want to basically get just a little early so i can take some pictures today hopefully i have time and i just want today to go really smoothly i absolutely hate when um you have like enga like an engagement or prior engagement or something and then you try to get things done and then it doesn't go smoothly you end up rushing that just makes me not want to go like if i gotta rush baby i'm not going like and also if you don't tell me at least two to three hours before the meetup i'm not going either like i don't do last minute functions and stuff like that all right the only thing i do last minute is get money all right um that's the only time that I'll be like, alright, bet, like, we, we don't, we all here, you know, like, other than that, it's, uh, a dub for me. Come with me to the kitchen so we can make a nice little smoothie, um, and get ready for the gym, because, you know, you all gotta stay good. I heard summer bodies were made in the winter, or quarantine, because that's all we've been doing this whole entire year, quarantine, so... 2021 hopefully it's different for us i'm gonna treat it like it's a whole new situation i'm not even looking back at 2020 um you know you have to be optimistic about a lot of things so although the situations might not be exactly how you want it in life you need to make the best of it so yeah um i'm gonna stop rambling now and shut up and let's go to the kitchen Okay, so I figured out who the hell I look like. I look like the Lorax, okay? And I got this in smoothie. So as you guys seen in my last clip, I just got done making my smoothie. I did put it in the fridge so that way I could just um, come and watch this off really quick for you guys. 
and it's been about five to seven minutes probably a little bit longer to be honest so i'm gonna wipe this off with a baby wipe and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of water and then rinse off the rest i'm sorry if you hear any background noises i'm in my bathroom so we have like a fan in here and it's pretty loud sometimes all right so i just take a baby wipe like i was saying a baby wipe or a makeup wipe this one is from the dollar store it's that global beauty care they're really cheap these are the their collagen baby wipes they're a dollar i feel like with makeup i keep saying baby wipes makeup wipes with um makeup wipes i'm not not saying i'm not picky about which ones that i get i am picky about the makeup wipes i get however when it's um like little quick stuff like this I like to just buy the really cheap ones because you're going to throw them out anyways. So yeah, just start by doing that. It's so gross, but that's literally all hair. Get a little close up. And I, when I wipe, I just kind of go slightly in circular motion just to kind of like get the hair off. You know with Nair, sometimes like if you just do one swipe, you can still see the hair there. And to me, I feel like that helps get the extra hair off that's like a little bit hard to come off. And then we're gonna do it here, boom. Don't get any in your eye, cause that would not be cool. I actually do have to plug my brows today, but I'm not going to do that on camera because I want to have enough battery for the rest of the day today. And with these Canon cameras, the batteries do die pretty fast. And I didn't have a, I don't have an extra battery for this camera. So I'm about to get dressed and hit the gym. I will see you guys later when I come back to put my wig on, do my makeup and all that jazz. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cause like, what are you doing? Like, do you not like me? Is that what it is? Let me know, just say that. Now that my skin is a little bit more calmer after I just took off the nair, I want to show you guys what it looks like after. Just so you know, in case you have any like facial hair that you might want to get rid of and you're like trying to find a solution, this is the simplest, easiest, quickest way in my opinion to just get rid of it. So I'm going to zoom in. Do not pay attention to my eyebrows because they are trash right now. Like I literally have not um, plucked my brows since September. September. Like I remember when I plucked my brows because I was like, like before I got my surgery done, I you know groomed myself, made sure I was looking okay, like you know brows plucked, feet done, nails clipped, and everything like that. Cause that's like my worst fear. Like something terrible happening to me, and then I end up in the hospital or something, and then I don't look my best. You know, like holes in your panties, like feet crusty. Like you don't want that. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, my little breakfast i guess because i got the smoothie right here super 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 good i love 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 peanut butter and smoothies and then i paired it with a little english muffin with peanut butter i toasted it so it's super good get into it i'm so proud of myself but yeah guys this 2020 i feel like it's gonna be so different for me like i don't know why but Ever since I was younger, I felt like by 26, I wanted to have a lot of my goals accomplished. And some of my goals, I'm not gonna lie, I have not accomplished them yet. And I'm gonna be 26 in February, but that's okay. I just felt like 26 or that year, it's just gonna be something really special for me. I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know. But I feel like it's gonna be like a big year for me, a big number. Um, so I'm just really excited about 2021. Um, I've always had a positive outlook on life, but I, I felt like because I had went through a, lot, a little dark place or whatever, like I mentioned, um, for a couple of months, like I just needed to get myself right and get myself together. To be honest, there was nothing really wrong with me per se because I'm very grateful, I'm very blessed. It's just like, I'm super hard on myself. So certain things in life I push myself to do and I get really hard on myself if I don't accomplish them in time or things don't work out as planned. And as you know, 2020 was not the year for plans. Like if you thought you had plans in 2020, bitch. Think again. Cause that was a dub. Mom, can, can you 
Can you pick me up? I'm scared. I just felt um, a little frustrated because of the setbacks and everything like that. But I've been working on my brand and just a lot of good things. And um, sometimes you gotta move silent like the G in lasagna, baby, because you don't need, I feel like you don't need to announce everything and share with everyone, especially if it's not done yet. You know, I'm the type of person, like I'll reach one milestone, but I like to get to the big goal before I announce like, what it is I was doing, what I was working on. So really, really excited. It's something I always wanted to do, but it really has a point on doing it. Now that I'm feeling a little bit more confident and stuff, I feel like I can definitely do this. So yeah, 2021 for me, I have so many plans and I cannot wait to, you know, vlog it, document it, whatever case may be, and share my journey with you guys. So yeah, I am doing some laundry right now and that's why I'm... I haven't went to the gym yet, but the gym closed at 4.30 today. But like I said, I have a couple things to do, so I don't want to go too late. But I also don't like going too early. And um, yeah, so I'm going to eat my toast and drink my smoothie. Wait a little bit because I don't like to go to the gym immediately after I eat or drink. I like to wait a couple of minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and then head on out. Or maybe even an hour. So I'm going to do that and... Um, in the meantime, I'm probably gonna just pluck my brows like All right, you guys, so basically this is my brows, um, plucked, groomed. Usually I would like brush them up like so and then trim it, but honestly, I kinda am feeling bushy brows again. Some days I feel more like I wanna arch and I want it super crisp and you know cleaned up, but today, or I feel like right now, I don't want to do that. I just want my brows really thick, brushed up. Um, if they get super long where I cannot like just go like this and tame them anymore, then I will go ahead and trim it. But for the most part, I could just take a little fully brush like that and clean them up if I need to. But yeah, those are my brows. That's how I do them. Very simple. I don't do the most. I just get a little, you know, eyebrow razor, clean that up at the top, pluck at the bottom, get rid of the middle and boom bitch we're done but yeah i'm gonna finish this up and then head to the gym so i will see you guys later hey you guys so i am dressed i sewed on the elastic band to my wig cap i ate my breakfast and everything it's about 1 30 so i'm gonna get to the gym soon because when i get back i want to just plop that wig on my head start doing my makeup and take some pictures let me show you my little gym fit um super cute i love my brows like i love bushy brows i just like you know just a light simple grooming is all we need let me show you my outfit real quick i just have on this little sports bra from victoria's secret it's like doubled so you know i like that it's really cute you can have a little cleavage out i don't remember where i got these from to be honest but um they kind of go together i like when i do random shopping and then things just Fall into place and end up matching. Hey you guys, so I am back. I actually put the wig on my head. I was gonna um, start plucking and styling it, but I need to pluck the wig while it's on my head for me to see it better. So I'm just gonna do that.
Okay, so now I'm gonna try the new Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the shade Honey. I picked this up yesterday at Sephora.
guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone camera to charge, my battery camera to charge because it is dying. Yeah, I'll be right back when I'm getting ready to leave the house. Hey you guys, so I am back, I am all dressed. I am kinda in a rush because my camera battery died and that was just super annoying. I'm kinda upset that I didn't get to film the full entire look, but don't worry, I'm gonna have everything that I used on my face today, literally every single product um, in the description box, so I'll have that for you. I'm gonna hurry up and get dressed. My friend is picking me up, so she's also running kinda late, so I don't want it to be like, I'm also late too, which I'm not, so. If y'all are watching this, just know it was not my fault, okay? Because usually I'm the one that's always late, baby, but I say, you know what? 2021, I want to be punctual. I want to be on time. I don't want to have motherfuckers waiting. So, yeah, this is a look. This is how the wig came out. I did add some baby hairs in it. I added a little bit of eyeshadow to the part because I don't know if you remember, I did say, like, I over-bleached the wig. Um just at the roots so i need to deepen up the, the roots a little bit and then i added some baby hairs um how i feel about the olive oil fix it from ors all the products i like it but it's not it's not holding like how i expected it to you know um would i use it again yes i would because um i know it has like really nice tacky consistency to it and it makes my hair look really good and not super crunchy but also it holds the hair so that's all i like about that i absolutely love this hair the color, it's super, super cute. Oh my God. So I'm about to get dressed, take some pictures and yeah, uh, I'm gonna come back when we're on our way to the place. When my friend picks me up and we're on our way, I'll vlog a little bit and when we get to the restaurant, but I haven't seen my friends in a long time. So I don't wanna be like with my camera out, you know, the whole time. But yeah, this is how the hair came out. I just love this hair. It's so cute. And I just threw on some lashes. I don't even remember where these lashes were from. Like, this is my first time doing my makeup literally since July or so. To be honest, like, putting on a full face. And I felt like, I was like, oh my god, I do not like how this is coming out. And then eventually, at the end of it, it all comes together, of course. So, if you enjoy this vlog, or you're enjoying it so far, I should say, because I'm not done yet. Um, go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe if you're liking what you see. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, link in the description, at Asia D Beauty on Instagram. Don't even know what I'm wearing, to be honest. That's why I'm like talking super fast, I'm out of breath, I'm like. <sighs> but yeah, I'm about to get dressed right now. I need to get me a freaking vlogging like thing to hold because my arms literally hurt. And then I need to order a battery and I need to get a new um, desktop uh, tripod. That's what I'm doing and I will see you guys soon. Hey you guys, I am back and I am dressed. I just wanted to show you guys what I have on. Um, I'm almost fully dressed, but for the most part, I'm dressed. Okay, fucking love the hair. It's so damn cute. My dress, I have on this tube dress from Sorella. You cannot tell me that doesn't look good. My JBW watch, of course. I love this watch. It just makes all my outfits look so complete. And then I'm gonna pair my outfit with the Sorella um heels you guys know heather sanders sorella so i'm gonna pair them with these and yeah this is just a cute outfit i'm gonna put them all together get dressed and yeah we about to leave Ooh, i look so cute i'm not gonna lie like i'm feeling myself i am i am not gonna lie it's giving everything it's supposed to give and then some <laughs> not gonna lie and for fragrance today i'm gonna be wine I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be wearing no for fragrance today i'm gonna be wearing this one the ysl libre i don't know why i didn't mention to my mom to get the intense but that totally slipped my mind so i'm putting this on okay so this is the outfit cute shoes let me spray my perfume and get ready to go This hair is really pretty. Thank you, Aaliyah J, girl, because you put me on to some bomb ass hair. I feel really, really, really cute. So that is me in my full glam. I'm about to take some pictures and wait on my friends to come get me. Oh, I need to show you my bag because my bag is super cute. I got it from Nimi Glow. 
this is the bag i am absolutely in love it looks so cute really luxurious just very you know fatty vibes or whatever they're like the bottega veneta inspired ones that's what she's giving i'm gonna fill my bag up because i need to switch them out obviously so we're here we just got to winwood miami um this is where life used to be really sweet but you know pandemic hit so i'm here with my really good friend felicia say hi <laughs> and then Nikisha, we're here with Nikish Kish. This is my bougie um, boss, Jamaican friend. I love her. Here. So <laughs> but um, I haven't seen them in forever, so I'm super excited okay, to have dinner with them. Um, yeah, you know, life what? Life happens, so yeah. So we're here now. We're gonna get dinner. We're like a little bit late, but like fashionably late, so I guess it's cool. But I didn't really vlog too much in the car because there was music playing and you know, it was a vibe, so yeah. One thing about Miami, they're gonna have some graffiti every single where on every building. And low key, I'm here for it. It gives very artsy type of vibes. Our drinks are here. Hold on. Our drinks are here. All right, you guys, so I just got back home from dinner. I had such a good time. Loki, that restaurant was kind of ghetto. Like, they had, like, two fights in there. Um, would I recommend it? I don't know. Maybe I'll give it, like, a three-star. But, yeah, I am going to kind of touch up my makeup a little bit and retake some pictures because I did ask my mom to take pictures earlier. And they didn't come out terrible, but they was not... It wasn't given like all the way it came out kind of grainy and i'm not sure why so um yeah i want her to like read some pictures for me but i am in love with this hair y'all make sure y'all follow me on instagram because honestly my stories be popping um we're late over there you know all right so i guess i could give you guys a little update on this hair um, I've literally only had this hair in for a couple of hours and I freaking love it. I thought I was going to hate the bust down middle part, but I love it. Super cute. Like, I literally cannot get over this look. It is just, I think this might be like my new color. I'm just saying. But yeah, you guys, um... I'm about to get off of here, take my makeup off, um, just unwind, edit some pictures, go through them, see which ones I like, of course. And um, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I had such a good day with my friends. I enjoyed seeing them. I miss them so much. But yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these vlogs, these get ready with me. Um, I'm definitely going to buy a new camera battery, like literally tonight on Amazon because that's a must. I cannot be, um, I just can't, you know, I don't want to do that to myself anymore. I want to be able to like film and not have to stop every time my camera um, it's dying and I, I did buy like batteries for my other camera that I used to film with but I like this camera way better to do my tutorials way vlog whatever it's just a really good camera so yeah I will see you guys on the next one bye